the plots of each part of Grand Theft Auto, and also all other games, leave many question marks and some very unclear issues after the player learns the entire story. Shit! Man! Damn! How you do that? <laughs> After all, we know very well that there are often moments which, in theory, are obvious from the very beginning. But after a careful examination of the situation, it turns out that something is wrong here. A nice example is who was Mr. Black's client in GTA Vice City? A person who set a trap for drug and money exchange at the docks. After looking at some circumstantial evidence, we may think that there is even a possibility that Sonny Ferrelli himself was the client. Due to Sonny's plans to expand Florida to start building a drug empire there, it would seem that Sonny was least concerned about the failure of the deal. In connection with this example, today we will move to GTA San Andreas where we will talk about the much-liked character standing at the top of the Chinese triad. Of course, we are talking about Woozy, who is allegedly blind. But the question is whether he is telling the truth. I have a confession to make. I, um, I'm blind. No shit! Yeah. The topic is really hard in terms of obtaining an unambiguous answer, but maybe together we will be able to come to interesting conclusions. I guess I gotta go get one. Meeting adjourned? Meeting adjourned. Getting to the bottom of the story, we can see a ton of signals that suggest Woozy's blindness. However, it turns out that in the game, we will also find several thought-provoking arguments that effectively deny this man's disability. Damn! The devious bastards have changed the layout! We will start with the mission Wu Zi Mu, during which we meet the guy who will soon become our very good friend. What is noticeable at the beginning of this mission is that Wu Zi reaches his hand towards CJ in a rather characteristic way. The man just doesn't shake hands directly to CJ, but more blindly. In turn, right after the race begins, we see a rather unexpected scene to say the least. Wu Zi is really good at driving his car. It is very strange because, while there are many things in which people with this disability can cope as well as a visible person, driving a car is not an activity of this type for sure. Not to mention racing on very unpredictable terrain. At that moment, CJ is also unaware that Woozy is a blind person and it is hard for the main character of the game to be surprised. And this is where we come to the thread of the triad in San Fierro. During the mission, a member of the triad explains Woozy's great racing skills by the fact that he is incredibly lucky. Uh, you know of the boss's curse? Curse? Nah. He's blind. Blind? No shit! But we was just racing cars last week. Yes, I know. He's blessed with unbelievable good fortune. And the triad that would do anything for him? We call him our lucky mole. But, for obvious reasons, it's definitely hard to believe. In addition, when it comes to the extreme luck that Woozy has, the explosive situation mission shows perfectly that the people working for him are trying hard to prove his gifts. <laughs> the glorious sound of a hole-in-one. Great shot, boss. Thanks. A mission in which we will not find anything suspicious, and we will see exactly what we could expect, is a quest called Jizzy. During a meeting with CJ, Woozy is asked to help identify the people we photographed during the photo opportunity mission. Due to his condition, Woozy tells Guppy to recognize people in the photos. That's Holmes. Why don't you go take a look? These guys? Yeah. They're the Loco Syndicate. They're pretty big time, I think. Don't have any dealings with them. We don't touch blow. However, in the next task, called Mountain Cloud Boys, we have a lot to discuss. But starting from what clearly suggests that Woozy is blind, the man does not react to CJ when he checks if he is actually blind. The triad boss is looking to one side all the time, even though CJ is waving his hands in front of his eyes. 
Later, we can see that Woozy is trying to locate the couch by touch. Both of these situations can reassure us that everything is indeed okay, and perhaps the excellent driving was pure coincidence. As if that was not enough, soon after, we see Woozy looking for a dent in the cobblestones to find out if we are in the right place. Additionally, a few moments later, the man accidentally runs into the wall, checks if the gate is open using the sense of touch, and accidentally steps on a dying member of the triad. These things make it clear, in theory, that Woozy cannot rely on his sense of sight. However, it soon turns out that Woozy uses weapons like a very well-trained soldier. Of course, one could argue and say that blind people have very good hearing. We are referring to the fact that Woozy hearing the shots of bullets from the opponent's weapons is able to roughly estimate their position. Nevertheless, it is hard to believe that a man is able to fire so many accurate shots based only on his hearing. It is especially visible when we run away from the place and Woozy successfully eliminates the enemies chasing us. We can also witness an interesting situation during the amphibious assault quest, but only if we do not have sufficiently developed breath-holding statistics. Then an alternative cutscene will play in which we will see Woozy playing on the console. In addition, after the reaction of both men, you can clearly see who is doing better. Shit! Man! Damn! How you do that? <laughs> The only option to justify this situation is that the gentleman played some kind of competition whereby hitting all buttons on the pad randomly, you can actually be lucky and win even with a very good opponent. To sum up this segment, after seeing this cutscene, we may have some question marks in the context of Woozy's disability. However, sometime later, the game tries to change our mind diametrically again. In the mission called Fender Catch-Up, as in the case of the Woozy Moo mission, we can see that Woozy is reaching out to CJ for a little while. Boss, CJ's here. Carl, glad you can make it. So, this what you've been doing? Yeah, it's been a complete nightmare. Moreover, we can see Woozy looking for a decanter with a drink by touch. And a moment later, we notice that, thanks to the quick reaction of the triad member, Woozy didn't spill the drink on the floor and safely poured the drink into glasses. In one of the next missions, we see that Woozy misses a golf ball into a drink cup, but Guppy again makes it look a bit different by moving the cup in such a way that the ball hits the target. By the way, this is another situation in which we see Woozy's subordinate trying to evoke specific thinking in his boss's head. The thing that stinks a lot is that Woozy doesn't have too much trouble to play golf. We mean, especially the moment when a man easily hits the golf ball with a club. More than that, we witness an interesting situation during the mission, You've Had Your Chips. In this task, Woozy, despite the fact that he is blind, recognizes the counterfeit tokens without even touching them. Of course, this moment is de facto to be missed because Woozy just used logical thinking here. After all, for what other reason would a triad member bring him two casino chips? So, it wasn't hard to guess what this might be about. You know, when I play the other guys, I always win. Boss, take a look at these two chips. One's a fake. That's amazing, you didn't even touch him. No, I just took a guess. Why else would he come in with two chips and sound so worried? You take a look. The next moments about which we will tell you can be found in the architectural espionage mission. We are talking about the situation in which Woozy is sitting in the room with the lights off, having no idea about it. The same is true when CJ leaves the room before turning off the light. Then you can also see from Woozy that he doesn't know what actually happened. Later on, we can see more situations that prove Woozy's blindness. However, we can catch a delicate mind F during the Caligula casino robbery. Once again, we see Woozy run into the wall, which is just like it was in the mission Mountain Cloud Boys. Damn! The devious bastards have changed the layout! Don't worry, I'll take the lead, boss. Good idea. Everybody, follow him! However, soon after, our friend is really doing great going around the casino rooms as if he knew exactly the arrangement of them. Again, we catch a lot of doubts, but also not for long, because at some point, Woozy makes a noise suggesting that he accidentally bumped into one of the team members. Whoa, sorry! Okay, team. Just how we practice. Two by two. Ow! Fuck, scratch that. Everybody follow Carl. And of course, right after the game once again suggested Woozy's disability when he tries to reach the van's front doors by touch. We see him getting into the van on the driver's seat when the crew comes back with the stolen money. 
Of course, there are several other moments in the game, which in most cases indicate that Woozy is a blind person, but we decided to show the most valuable ones. Anyway, let's move on to a short summary of this analysis. There are a lot of events indicating that Woozy is a blind person. However, some situations that we have witnessed are simply impossible for a blind person to do. After all, it is impossible for a blind person to take part in car races and to drive well. We therefore have two options here. Woozy tries very often to show everyone around him that he is blind, thus gaining kind of advantage over other people who appear in his life. This is because such people knowing that they are dealing with a blind person can easily forget themselves and, for example, reveal some evil intentions by accident. Of course, if they have any. While on the other hand, another possibility is the option of a miraculous gift that Woozy has received and that sometimes allows him to do things that, in theory, are simply unlikely to happen. The whole interpretation depends on whether the person believes that there are special powers in some people or is completely relying on rationality. Therefore, we are really looking forward to your comments on this matter. We recommend you checking out the episodes that are currently displayed on the screen and thank you very much for any support you leave. We'll see you soon in the next video. Take care.